Hello there, my name is Matt Gamble. It's Thursday the 23rd of September. I need a haircut, and this... This is Gita. First thing I'm talking to you about is the thing that I've been anticipating most all year. It's the one and only Halo Reach. Finally came out last week, I got my hands on it as soon as it came out. Granted, that probably means I spent more money this month than I should have done. But I have had my hands on my Xbox controller all week. I've probably been playing a bit more than I should be, and I still can't put it down. Everything about Halo Reach is better than its predecessors. It's as if it's taken the best bits from all of the games, scrunched it up into one, and then expanded it out into something even better. From what I've played so far, it's it's a good story and I'm, I'm into playing it, I just die every couple of seconds. That's probably more my fault though than the game's fault. What's also interesting is the achievement they've added to make a player play through the entire game on Legendary on their own. Which is quite a difficult feat and if you manage to achieve it, congratulations. I for one probably don't fancy doing that one. I have however jumped into the firefight, created my own settings and completed all of the firefight achievements. If you want my tips, you can easily win all of the firefight achievements by purely creating yourself as an invincible player. And my advice for completing the Kenyan Air achievement is to set your primary and secondary weapon as melee. And for all of you PS3 fans, I will shut up now. But if you are one of the Halo Reach players, let me know your comments in the section below. Now the PS3 move came out last week. I myself haven't had a go with it yet. I look forward to using it at some point and giving it a try. However, the early market saturation for the PlayStation 3 might be key to Move's success. Now on to one of my favourite topics, Back to the Future Part 1 is being re-released into the cinemas on Friday the 1st of October. I am so excited about this. This film is my favourite all-time film. The entire trilogy is amazing, so much so that I recently managed to get my hands on the trilogy box set. And look at that in all this glory, aren't they beautiful? Uh, they are my fa all time favourite film series. I am so excited about watching this digitally remastered in the big screen, in surround sound, and enjoying the experience of my favourite sci-fi movie ever. So based on the topic of Back to the Future and sci-fi, if you had a DeLorean and a flux capacitor, and you had the ability to time travel, where would you go and why? Feel free to leave a comment or a video response answering the question or talking about anything we've spoken about this week. That's all from me for today. I will be back in two weeks time for a Eurogamer special where I shall finally be able to talk about the PlayStation Move and connect if it's there. It hasn't been announced yet but I'm hoping it will be. But until then, thank you for watching. I've been Matt Gamble, this has been GTEC and we'll see you again next week. If you want a tip, you can easily score the million points by creating an invulnerable playlist. Uh, <laughs>